So this is a little introduction, four minutes. I hope I can make it and I hope you can make it. So welcome to this little video. I was asked to, to make a video where I share what I do. Um, I think mostly it's interesting why I do things, but let's actually start this time with the what. And that is um, take a little bit on a journey. Uh, I'm doing something that is similar to what Scout does. So there used to be in the semi-nomadic hunter-gatherer cultures, basically in all our ancestor cultures and still in some places today, you have the group and then you have scouts that are situated around the group, right? A bit away from the group. When the group is moving, they're looking for the right way, a way that is possible for the group. So what I do is I observe our group, like the global community of life in all its diversity, but also in particular the human community, including all the geopolitical um, challenges or possibilities that we have. And um, so for this, I need to see what is necessary, what does the group need and what does the group want. Unfortunately, these things have differed a lot lately. So I feel like it's important to actually speak out and say, hey, for what we want, I cannot find a journey as a scout, right? So I'm looking for dangerous possibilities, opportunities and um, risks. And so what I can see in the moment is all the solutions are there. Um, it's mostly copy paste, mostly based on communication and mindset shifts and um, mostly actually based on deep nature connection. So developing a love for the planet. But let's go back to the, what I'm doing. So I'm looking for these opportunities and here I found one in this place called Mekriyarvi, um, where there is a lot of opportunities for many of us to get involved. And everyone that I can think of that could possibly get involved uh, would benefit a lot. So I'm, I'm looking for these, like what is, and, and my background is like wilderness guiding, survival. So I'm thinking in the survival terms, like what are our six survival priorities, community, health, food, water, air, and shelter. And I'm looking for ways that um, are sufficiently scalable, yeah, that work for, for us. Yeah, because different people have different needs. Really, we do have different needs. We also have different wants. Um, and I'm in the moment seeing that I need to communicate. I feel a responsibility to communicate the privilege of my perspective and what I see as opportunities, what I see as beneficial, and also what I see as actually necessities. Right when you when you sit in a in a rescue boat, you cannot really want to drill holes. Even though yeah, you can want to drill holes. It's advertised. It's uh, maybe the only thing that we have learned. So drilling holes is far easier than we think. And actually, I believe that it's easier to be part of the solution than being ex like consciously part of the solution than being by accident part of the problem. Which is also very easy, but it's much easier to find solutions and live them. So here is one of these places. Um, there are many, many other projects and ideas uh, that I'm, I'm thinking big scale, um, also for whole cities and communities and doing sustainability consulting, wilderness guiding, deep nature connection, mentoring, making sense, um, not pushing, pulling, lots of pulling, taking by the hand um, and communicating, raising awareness, building bridges between the modern human reality, uh, hum, modern human experience and natural realities. It's an ecocentric planet. We can't choose not to live on it. That's it. Four minutes. Hello.